How's everyone doing? Today I have an awesome mail day, and it's from my good buddy on here, Scotty, Bootzilla111, and if you haven't checked out his channel, definitely do yourself a favor and check him out. I'll put the link down below. Uh, every year on YouTube, I do a fantasy football league where we play for Blu-rays. I've shown a couple of videos in the past, and uh, everybody that doesn't win the fantasy football league has to send the winner a Blu-ray. And this is the fifth year doing it, and I've done this with a lot of cool and awesome uh, YouTubers on here. And uh, I've been the commissioner every year, and this is the first time that I won. So I'm pretty souped, and I've got some awesome uh, Blu-rays sent to me, and really cool. And this was uh, the uh, Blu-ray that Scott was sending me uh, for the YouTube Fantasy Football Blu-ray league so very souped on this i know what it was he already asked me hey can i send this to you don't pre-order because i was going to pre-order it uh so i already knew about it and one thing i thought was cool uh, uh i don't know if i can uh maybe i won't show it but uh on these packages a lot of times uh i'll you know say people ask me what my address is and i'll put like dr j and like all this different stuff and uh he, he put that on there and then he also put uh jedi uh, for his name, which I thought was pretty cool. He's a big Star Wars fan, uh, as am I. I know you're super. I, I was so you were so lucky. You went to the um, uh, Star Wars uh, thing in uh, California. You got to meet Mark Hamill. That's amazing. Um, but yeah, the whole doctor thing. I'm, I know. I don't think anybody's really asked me about that. But it, it goes back to kind of like an inside story to my fraternity days, which is somewhat inappropriate. So I won't really talk about it now. But. There's a whole meaning behind that. Maybe I'll speak about it in another video. But I'll go ahead and show you what he sent me first off. Uh, is the Babadook. And uh, that is awesome. I'm sure you guys have seen many different unboxings and reviews of this uh, edition already from Scream Factory right here. And uh, it says the scariest horror movie you have to see right now. Special edition, limited run, pop-up packaging. Exclusive to Blu-ray extras. I'll go ahead and open this up. I love this movie, the Babadook. Baba Duke, Duke, Duke. Uh, I did a full movie review for this in October, I believe, or maybe November. So you can check that review out by clicking right here. I've had a lot of people ask me, hey, have you seen the Baba Duke? Or you should check out this movie. Hey, I reviewed it. You should check out my review. <laughs> uh, but I love the film. For me, it was an allegory for uh, postpartum depression. And I love the creepy uh, atmosphere for it. The kid was super annoying, but it kind of worked for the role. And like I said before in my review, it kind of reminded me of uh, kind of the grim fairy tales. When I lived in Germany as a kid, I lived there for four and a half years. Uh, there was different stories that were told that were just like fairy tales that were super dark. You probably should be telling kids. I remember one specifically told to me, because I used to bite my fingernails, I still do, so the fairy tale didn't work, but I think it did for a little bit, but it was uh, this, if you bite your fingernails, uh, this guy will come with this like super long fingernails, and he basically, I, from what I can remember, he looked like Freddy, he had like a striped shirt, I don't remember, too, I think he had like a hat as well, but he had like super long, crazy, you know, sharp fingernails, and he will cut your thumb off. Uh, if or your fingers off if you bite your fingers and so the whole thing was uh the, the story was told to this uh, the mother was telling the the kid don't bite your fingernails i'm going out to the store i'll be back if you bite your fingernails so i can't remember the creature's name but so and so will come and chop your finger off and so the, the mother goes to the store and uh, the kid bites his fingernails and the creature chops off his finger so the mother comes back and she sees that and that's what the whole story was but as a kid like hearing that when i was like four or five years old freaked me the heck out and that's what this kind of reminds me of the kind of the nature of this creature and i love that this is like in the book design because in the movie they have the book the babadook and i'll go ahead and show you when you open it up it's like a gatefold pop-up right there which was used in the book i love that slip cover this is probably uh, you know, I'm going to do a video on my top 10 favorite Blu-ray slip covers, and this, I can tell you, is going to be on the list. That is amazing to me. And it says, if it's in a word or it's in a book, you can't get rid of the... Oh, I'm sorry, if it's in a word or it's in a look, you can't get rid of the Babadook. This was totally such a creepy atmospheric horror movie. I love the heck out of it. Great psychological elements. And here we go. The lead actress was amazing in here. A lot of special features in here. And I guess there are some ones that are uh, exclusive to this one as well. And here is the disc. Let me go ahead and show you that. Right there. And I'll go, there is a, I guess you can reverse the artwork in here too, which I think is always cool. I like that option. And I'll go ahead and there it is right there. 
me see. Uh, it's kind of neat. But, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and keep that one right there. I mean, for the most... I'm going to have the slip cover on, so I'm not really going to, you know, need to uh, reverse it really at all anyways. But I like that you have that option. Uh, very cool. It's a little added touches like that that I really appreciate. Like, Arrow Video always does the reversible artwork. And uh, Screen Factory has been doing that for a little bit as well. And I just think that's really cool. A few other companies have done it in the past as well. Let's see if I can get this thing back on here now. This is giving me a pain. All right, here we go. It's a little tight. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, but anyways, if you've seen The Babadook, definitely let me know what you think of it as well. Again, you can check out my movie review by clicking right here. And I'll also put a link down below uh, Scott's link for his YouTube channel as well uh, for my review of The Babadook. And he, I believe he did a review for The Babadook as well. So you can check that out on his channel. Again, Scott is a great guy. Bootzilla111. He's become a really good friend. He's somebody that I talk to all the time on here. And that's one of the things that I do love about this community. You can find... You know, all these different movies you never knew about before. Uh, you know, you could sh basically share your passion for movies, collecting, just all kinds of different things. But one of the greatest things about it, and probably my favorite thing, is making friends on here. Like I said before, I've talked about this in other videos. A lot of my friends in real life, they're not big into movies like I am. Like, they're casual movie fans. Uh, but on here, we're like the hardcore movie fans. You know, we collect, you know, like a lot of my friends don't even have, they don't collect movies at all. They'll watch a movie and that's it. They won't really buy a movie to own and I'm like what and they come see my place and they're like oh my god uh, but you guys there's people on here that have way more movies than I do uh, but I just love creating that friendship that bond we and we have common interests and it goes past that too like a lot, a lot of these people I've talked to about you know just everyday life things like that too and we just check in to see how each other's day are uh, days going so that's just a great thing about this on YouTube because it's a great outlet to talk about movies but also make great friendships as well and uh, also to kick your butt in fantasy football. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I, I was really souped. This, like I said, is the fifth year of being the commissioner and never won. So I finally won and I'm excited. And I've got some amazing Blu-ray sent to me. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody uh, participating in the Blu-ray league as well. Uh, so very cool. I will be doing it again this year. And I think there's going to be like a couple spots open. So if you're interested, let me know. So there you go. There's the Baba Duke right there, Blu-ray from uh, my buddy on here, Scotty, Bootzilla 101. Can't say his praises enough. Awesome guy, makes great videos. He's into Blu-rays. Uh, he collects anything Star Wars related. He's into Funko Pops. Great channel, great person. One of the best recommendations I can give on here. And uh, I'm probably gonna be doing the shout out of the week again. This is a segment I used to do all the time where I would shout out a channel that I thought was deserving and deserved more uh, exposure. Uh, so I wanna do that again as well because there's so many people on here that come on here new every day and there's so many deserving people that deserve way more uh, subscribers and just exposure. So uh, look out for that coming probably in a few weeks, uh, the shout out of the week segment, which I used to do. So thank you so much. This is amazing. I love this. Immediately, uh, one of my favorite uh, slipcover editions by far. Love the heck out of that nice little Velcro uh, part right there that keeps it closed, enclosure right there. Thank you for watching this. Thank you, Scotty. Thank you to everybody for all your continued support as well. You guys all rock. I love the community on here. And let me know what you thought of the Babadook. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Take care. I'm souped. I'm kind of uh, sleep deprived as well. <laughs>